So the probability that A or B fails is equal to 1 minus 0 0.65, which is 0 0.35. Then using probability A or B fails equals probability A fails, add probability B fails minus probability A and B fail, we get that therefore 0 0.35 equals 0 0.15 and 0 0.28 minus probability A and B fail. So therefore probability A and B fail is equal to 0 0.08. Therefore the probability that only B fails is equal to the probability that B fails minus the probability that both fail, which is answer A. 0.2. We can also do this using a Venn diagram. 0.65 is neither of them fail and we know that 0.15 and 0.28 is 0.43 and yet we know that the sum of the circle must be 0.35 and so therefore this bit here must be 0.08 which means this is 0.07, this is 0.20 and that is the area of the Venn diagram indicating only component B failing which again is answer A. Anybody who did 0.8 5 times 0.28 to get answer D, that is only when A and B are independent, which they are not in this case.